Hey guys, today is a great day because today is devlog day. My name is Andy and this is the first devlog of my new game. This is my new open-world action-adventure game, Valkin. Several months have passed since the introduction devlog, and there have been many developments in the game. For the first time in my life, I created my own character, rigged, weight-painted, textured and exported it into a game engine. This is my still unnamed main protagonist of Vulcan. This process took well over 100 hours, as I had to acquire the necessary know-how. The character is compatible with all sorts of humanoid animations. I also built the character in such a way that I can easily move individual muscles in the face using various sliders. This, this is cool, I guess. The game starts with you stranded on an unknown and mysterious island called Isle of the Ancients. The main character of the game wakes up on the beach of this island with only fragments of her past memories. She has no recollection of the recent devastating events. However, she senses that she has an important task and had to leave her home because of it. Fortunately, there are kind souls who can help her with this task as the game progresses. Exciting adventures await her, full of dangers, trials, puzzles and deadly encounters. In terms of game design, this island serves as the entry point to the game. Here you will encounter three towers, where you will obtain the core equipment for the main part of the game. On the island, you will learn the basics of movement, combat and core equipment. The later and main part of the game takes place on a floating island called Vinari, high up in the skies. Stay tuned for more details regarding the story in the upcoming devlogs. I mainly worked on the control and movement set of the main character. She can slide down slopes and receives an initial speed boost for each slide. Depending on the slope, this allows for much faster movement than simply running. In addition to sliding and climbing, she can now perform wall jumps to reach otherwise unreachable areas. I also created a first prototype for a grappling hook, but I'm not sure yet if it will fit into the final game. An important form of movement will be the ability to temporarily transform into an astral flight form. In that case, a grappling hook might seem redundant. What do you guys think? Unfortunately, as a solo dev, you often spend a lot of time on things that are not visible. Formalities and legal stuff, social media, spreadsheets and creating concepts. But at least I've already created a Steam page for Vulcan. It would mean the world to me if you could wishlist Vulcan on Steam. It won't even take a minute and it would greatly help me with better visibility on Steam. Thanks in advance to everyone who helps me out, really. One day I'd like to have a copy of my game in my own hands. Sadly, I can't show much from the open world area yet, as every aspect, every path, every point of interest and everything I can see at any given time plays a major role in terms of game experience. It just has to all come together. However, I can reveal a few details. There will be four main dungeons, and some smaller ones. I call them Trials. 
There will be caves, world bosses, puzzles and secrets. I'm planning a day-night cycle and various biomes. As for the size of the open world, I can also say something about that. This is the map of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. In comparison, here you can see the size of the OG Fortnite map. I can only say that my open world will not be anywhere near as big as the Fortnite map. Players will have the feeling of a large world, but on paper it won't be big. Anything else would be unreasonable for a solo death. I had a blast designing a prototype dungeon to test various things like art style and lighting. Sadly, I haven't been able to work on the combat system yet. But hey, check this out. Maybe you'll already get some boss fight wipes. That's all for today, it's a lot of work and I developed the game in my spare time, which is why I can't publish new devlogs too quickly. But I'm really excited about it and I'm continuously working on it. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to get updates, leave a comment, leave a like, that would really mean the world to me. See you guys next time.